Okay, here's a common dynamics problem. Let's say we have an elevator that is uh, suspended by a cable, and let's say it moves up and down in a frictionless shaft. Uh, let's also say that the mass of the elevator, call it big M, is equal to a thousand kilograms. And inside of the elevator, is a guy here with a mass little m and let's say that little m is equal to 70 kilograms and this person is standing on a scale here inside the elevator and I'm going to include the mass of the scale in this total mass of the elevator up here and what we want to know is that if this elevator is to accelerate upward at the rate of, say, A is equal to, say, 2 meters per second squared, what is the tension in the cable? In other words, we're pulling up with a tension T. What is that tension? That's what we want to find out. And how do we set this up? We just use Newton's second law. And look at the forces acting on the mass that's going to be accelerated by this force, this tension T that's pulling the whole thing upward. So we have, uh, I'll represent the mass, or rather the force due to gravity acting on the elevator and the scale as big M times G. And then the force acting on the man, I'll put it this way, is M little m times g. So these two forces are acting downward and this is the force acting upward. So F net, the net force, is just T minus little mg minus big mg and that has to be equal to ma. And m is all of the mass that's being accelerated. So that's m plus little m times a. I can also factor out a g from this and write this as t, uh, let's see, minus g times little m plus big M. And that's all equal to m plus, uh, rather big M plus little m times a. If I move this to the other side of the equation, then T is equal to M plus little m times A plus M little m plus big M, doesn't matter how I write them, times G, or I can simplify that and write that as M plus little m times A plus G. That's the tension. If I plug the numbers in that I gave you, big M was 1,000 kilograms, little m was 70 kilograms, and A is 2 meters per second squared. G, I didn't tell you, but G is equal to 9, uh, correction, 9.81 meters per second squared. So 9.81, and when you plug this into the calculator and press the proper buttons, the result is 12,636.7 newtons. That's what T is, and that's how you figure that out.